I want to take you back to the very start so you can realize how it was for me and how I felt. I understand that it's the choices I have made that have led me to this point. I'm not blaming anyone. They're my mistakes. Even when I'm surrounded by all my memories, my best friend, my family. In my bedroom, I still feel caged and alone. My whole life has been like this. I guess it started when I was eight. Sometimes it's not a verbal insult. It could just be a look. That's how it started with my family. My mother, especially. My father thought it was just a phase. My mother knew. She just didn't take the time to understand. I just got off the phone with Lucy's mother. Why do you feel the need to continually embarrass me? What have I got to do to get through to you? Look at this place. What is this? Why can't you be more feminine? Look at the way you're dressed. I didn't bring you up to look like this. Why can't you be more like Nicole Hickman? I've had it with you. I want you out. I tried so hard to please everyone. In the end, this made me more frustrated and depressed. I really don't know what's wrong with that girl. It's just a phase. Long phase. I was never sure if my mother meant what she said. But standing there, in the kitchen, waiting for some kind of acknowledgement. It was one of the worst moments of my life. And it only got worse from there. I won't go into detail about where I've been for the last year. I'll just tell you that I was doing okay. Even though I was living on the streets, I was getting by just fine. I really had a knack for finding ways to cope with the pain and the guilt. It wasn't so bad. I like to watch the sunset. Stuff like that. I took care of myself the best way I knew how. I always had a bit of money in my pocket. I met a lot of strange characters. Some were nice. Others not so. But I guess that's the same wherever you go. I ate properly whenever I could. Usually it was takeout. It was really hard to stay healthy, but I managed. I slept a lot of the time. I didn't even notice how long it had been. Then Zoe came to get me. Out of nowhere, she found me and she brought me home. I thought everything could be fine. But how could it be? Everything's gonna be fine. You'll be all right, Jack. I promise.
Jack. I love you, but not like this. I can't be that person for you. I know you can't be that person for me. It was stupid of me to think you could. Maybe I should have tried harder to explain how I felt. Given the opportunity, I would have. Can I say anything, Yeah, I gotta go. Okay, bye then. Maybe I should have tried harder to explain how I felt. Given the opportunity, I would have. I just want everyone to know that I alone am responsible for my actions. All the pain and unhappiness I have felt my whole life has greatly outweighed any chance I've ever had of being happy. I'm at the darkest road I've ever walked down and there is no light ahead. My mother knew she just didn't take the time to understand. But I love her, and I know she tried to love me too. At the same time, your family is supposed to be supportive of your decisions, no matter what they are. I shouldn't be judged because I don't conform. Either way, I'm fucked. <laughs> 